that I've already shuffled. And we'll be going through the present time. How your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why it's all happening. So, Taurus, for the present time, we have Nine of Pentacles, and it's paired with the Magician. Now, the Nine of Pentacles, it's one of the most uplifting and encouraging cards in the tarot. This card, it means that your money woes, your financial worries, they're going to be over for a while. And things will be going better than you thought possible coming up in April. So enjoy this good energy and share what you have. Share your wealth. Share your happiness with others. Now this Nine of Pentacles is paired with the Magician. The Magician card, it's about new beginnings and great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in other areas such as the world. So just know that you won't have it all handed to you on a plate with this magician card, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. The magician is about action. So if you do nothing at this time, uh, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then make sure you do something because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So for the present time, Nine of Pentacles and Magician, uh, you, you're going to have manifestation powers. With this, magician, with this magician card and you probably don't know it so I'm here to let you know that that's what you have coming up in April for you use it to your advantage because your money is going to pick up in a really good way with this nine of pentacles so if you put money with manifestation or maybe the manifest maybe what you're manifesting is the money and it's coming in, if that's what you're manifesting. Uh, you should try to manifest something else, too, because you got the power. It's in your hand in April. So these are two really good cards for you. Really good cards. If you're in a relationship with this Nine of Pentacles showing up in your reading, it's going to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. And if there's some single Taurus out there listening, this Nine of Pentacles is showing that someone new who has what it takes to be in a new, meaningful, deep love could be coming in. They're, they're headed your way soon. So these are really two really good cards. Use, those, use the power that you have now. Don't underestimate it. Manifestation powers is what a lot of people wish they had. And that's what you have coming up in, in April, Taurus. So, the person you're dealing with, let's take a look at how they see you. They see you as the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. The Eight of Wands is about, it's about things being up in the air. And you're probably tired of waiting. But... These wands are showing that you, you're going to have to wait a while longer. They're going. You see how the wands are shooting up in the air at an angle? They're not coming down fast. It's going to take a while for them to actually turn around and point downwards. So you're going to have to wait a while longer. You've done all that you can do. Now decisions, they have to be made by other people. So, nothing seems to be moving ahead, Taurus. Don't try to force things in April. Because if you try to do that, guess what's going to happen? It's going to backfire on you. Just know sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. So all you can do is put your best out there, then see where it lands. You put your best out there, so just wait. 
sorry, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. You got to wait. You're waiting on something, and it's just not coming in fast enough. But it's coming. This Eight of Wands is with the Ace of Wands. It's about new beginnings, very positive new beginnings. They're about accomplishments that could be related to work, career, family, love. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get much better very soon. Very soon. This card is about upbeat, optimistic, hopeful for the future with a good cause. So you'll be feeling quite energetic and positive, like I said, or you will be feeling that way soon. It's a good time to start something new if that's what you're thinking about doing. So this is how your person seeing you, like the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. They see you as they see you as as um, very passionate about maybe a new start with with this connection. Um, but they see you wanting to do this, but it's probably not happening fast enough. But they see it. They see it coming in. They say this passionate new beginning with them is coming in with you, but it's just not moving fast enough. Yeah. Or they could see you wanting to offer a new beginning. Or they just see you as very passionate about this connection. And like I said, it's just not moving fast enough. Plain and simple. Uh, okay, yeah, because I explained the two cards to you and some, some important information is moving fast with the Eight of Wands, and then the Ace of Wands is new beginnings. So they know that you want this new beginning. But for some reason or another, they see you not maybe putting in the effort as quick as you should or as they want to for some reason. It's just not happening fast enough, this new beginning or this great opportunity with with you or with them. It's just not happening fast enough. But it, they, they know it's coming or they see you coming. So hopefully you'll get there soon. But with that Eight of Wands, it's all about the playing the waiting game. Let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as a King of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles. Wait a minute. Uh, I get my cards. Yeah, that's the King of Cups. How you see them, King, King of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Too many Pentacles here. Okay, well that's a good thing you got, you got some Cups in there. So King of Cups is that man in the blue up there in the chair by itself, uh, above, above how you see them, and the Five of Pentacles is this lady who looks like she's walking away from her house. So this is how you see them. Now the King of Cups is about a balanced male and feminine energy. It holds positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. If this is an actual man in your life, it, it represents a um, that he'll be a very kind and loving man. He'll probably have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it could go either way. Just know, with this King of Cups, um, you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. It's all about kindness and compassion when you get this card. There's an element of pure and true love in your life no matter what your situation is when this card appears. So it's about 
nurturing yourself and allow others to nurture you. That explains the King of Cups and it's paired with this Five of Pentacles. So Five of Pentacles, it's a it's about a time when you probably feel less than secure. Uh, the important thing is to remember that there is always help available when you need it from forces seen and unseen. You could be feeling alone coming up in April, but you have the capacity to change that. So reach out. So you're, you're like I said, you may be feeling left out in the cold, like this lady's looking. She's walking away from her home or some house and she's being carried off by a friend so you might have the feeling as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering it could be something like that so just realize that this is not the case so do the best you can with what you have but remember the wise thing to do is if you need help is to go out and ask for it because the help you need it will come and this is how you're seeing your person. This is how you see them. You see them as this King of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. You see them as warm, friendly, and very tolerant with this King of Cups there. But it's interesting because you also see them as just the opposite suffering in some kind of way you see them um, you could possibly see them as not being treated Well, not treating you the way that they should. You see them as not treating you, Taurus, the way that they should. And it sometimes makes you feel alone or left out in the cold. But then they turn around and they become warm and friendly and very loving. So you see them two ways. Yeah, so they go back and forth. One minute they offer compassion, love, and kindness, and you feel like there's an element of pure, true love. And then you see them making you feel alone and suffering and not really happy. So you see them... Um, if they, if they flip-flop on you, Taurus, that's what, that's what it's saying. So, there could be some mistreatment there. But then they turn around and then they offer you their cup of love. Okay, so you're dealing with, um, hmm. A multiple of one person that's what it's saying and that's how you see them okay so let's take a look at why it's happening it's happening due to this king of Pentacles and seven of cups now the king of Pentacles it's about success in money matters when you hear the word Pentacles that's coins finance money cash so success in money matters when this card appears in your reading, as it is, it's a sign that now is not a time to be a maverick, but it's a time to follow the established way of doing things. When this card stands for an actual person, a man in your life, it refers to a masculine fellow. He probably will have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. And if it's referring to a man in your life, just know this man is one who you can believe in and trust in absolutely. Uh, this type of person, they usually want to come in and sweep you right off your feet. So, that's one of the reasons why it's happening, due to the King of Pentacles. 
Uh, someone wants success in this connection. They want they want to secure it and make it committed. And it's with the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups is a card about choices. It often indicates confusion and it points to disorganization because you got too much going on. So there's a need to focus. Narrow the, narrow the focus, put it that way. Uh, you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not well. So it's about choosing a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully. Uh, you'll be feeling overwhelmed with all these choices. So remember, you can control at least in some areas how much you're trying to take on. So, that's another reason why it's happening. Someone has too much going on. Maybe too many options. Maybe they're juggling you and other people. Or just too much going on and they don't know how to narrow their focus and it's causing disorganization in this connection. Um, but they want success with this connection. They want to secure it. Because you got the King of Pentacles there. But they just got too much going on. So basically for this reading, Taurus, I guess um, you might want to go with the present time. The Magician is really powerful in this reading. Uh, manifestation powers, like I said, is not everyone gets that opportunity. And like I said, it's going to make your money look real good coming in April with this magician there. Um, so there's a lot of things that you could make happen for you coming up in April. Um, your person, they see you as uh, wanting some type of new beginning, but it's not happening fast enough. We talked about that. And then you see them as um, being hot and cold. One day they're loving, giving you their cup of love, and the next day it feels like they're uh, they're totally different. They're sh maybe shutting you out and um, making you feel alone and left out in the cold. And why it's happening? Because someone really wants to work with this King of Pentacles there. And they want to secure it. But they can't focus because they got too many options. Too much going on and it's causing them to be overwhelmed. So someone needs to narrow their focus, evaluate their choices thoughtfully, be honest as and be honest and as clear as they can with all the people or situations involved, then move ahead. Because these options can mess this whole this whole connection up. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go through how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. I thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I hope 2020 is going well for you. I hope April is a beautiful month for you. Once again, thank you so very much for watching and have a great day. Day. Day.